Hello YouTube friends. This is Fossil Source here. Uh, coming at you with a not fossil. Um, this is just an informative video. Now this is something that is very important for fossil collectors. And it is a very heavy subject. There is lots to it. Um, far more than I can go into here. All I can do is generally give you a very brief um, overview of uh, maybe the, the top things or the, the, the most basic of information here. Um, now, if you get into actually really collecting, you're, you're going to need to go beyond my video here. Um, this would just be very start beginners. You would need to really uh, get onto a forum, um, talk to a lot of people, talk to find some experts, um, and and probably in a lot of cases you would need to discuss every single potential thing that you wanted to buy and have opinions from um, from real experts from different people uh, I am talking about fakes and forgeries frauds um, probably should have mentioned that earlier but you'll see in the uh, in the description that I'll show right up uh, this is a field that has such a ridiculously high um, number, percentage, whatever, uh, of, of fakes. <laughs> um, just the fraud, the fossil fraud industry is absurd. It's... I don't want to give numbers, but I mean, like, like, is it a is it a multi-billion-dollar industry? I, I I don't know. I just don't know. But it could be. It could be. Um, in some places, like Morocco, the fraud industry, and I don't know this. I'm just from what I've seen. I would not be surprised, and I think I would even guess that in Morocco, the the fossil fraud industry is greater than just the fossil industry. Uh, same with China. China and Morocco. Those are the two big red flags. Which sucks because that's where some pretty amazing stuff comes from. So you really, I mean you could say well I'll just avoid things from there. And you could. And that's not going to mean that you are avoiding the fraud industry because it Anywhere the fossils come from, there's going to be fraud industry there. But you really, if you just cut Morocco and China out, you're cutting out so much cool stuff too. So it's really like, it, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, you know. Um, I, I'm going to be doing some pausing during this video because... I want to make sure that I'm giving enough time for uh, me to show you enough pictures and examples of things going by. So just in order to do that, I'm going to occasionally like, like, all right, I want to give it another like 30 seconds or something for you to like, for to make sure that I have enough video or uh, pictures going by to really give you an adequate understanding. Uh, I'm going to focus mostly on Morocco because that is... Uh, it's probably where the most are from, and it's probably where the, um, the things that most people, um, especially beginners, are going to be coming across things from. In, in China, um, a lot of, uh, fakes are, like, are, in, are eggs, dinosaur eggs and imprints, like fish, imprint of, um, I, I can never pronounce the name of the dinosaur, but it's like an early 
uh, aquatic dinosaur. It's like an, a precursor to Nothosaurus. Um, it starts with a K. Uh, and they're, they're not that uncommon, but they're nowhere near as common as they come off as because they're... And, and in actual fossils of them are beautiful, flat... Um, not impressions, but the animal is just completely flattened onto something. They're little animals, maybe a foot across, so it's not hard for a little bit of, uh, like for one to die to suddenly get cut, quickly get covered by a little bit of debris. So it's not uncommon for you to have beautiful full fossils of them, but they're very easy to fake. Um, and most of them are faked. Um, and China also does a lot of a lot of forgeries are so poor quality that you really you really have to be a beginner um, or just ignorant and I don't mean that in like I mean that in the, the actual sense of the word like it not as an insult just as something somebody who doesn't know something yet um, to not realize, because the the fakes of the um, the imprints of pterosaurs, whole pterosaurs or birds that they have like on this flat, like beautiful, like it's it, it, too good to be true. Except the pterosaurs usually don't even look like top quality <laughs> work. Um, but a lot of ways to know is also price. Um, too good to be true, it is. Uh, you can't say that with everything. I've gotten some almost too good to be true um, legitimate purchases, but there it's going to be random situations. It's not going to be like one from China or one from Morocco or something like that. Those are you're always going to be suspect with those. Um, now. I'm, I'm not really going to go into how to tell um, the difference between or, or how to figure out what's for, uh, fake or not because there are lots of ways to do it and depending on what kind of forgery you're looking at, there are different ways to do it and some of them it is like you put a certain amount of acid of like this kind of acid on it and see what happens like stuff like that. Like, you're not just going to, like, open your, like, battery drawer at home and pull out, like, muriatic acid. Like, what, like, I mean, it's it's stuff that most people won't have. Or, like, some of them is, like, burn, burn part of it and see what, like, the smoke comes up. Like, I mean, very obscure things in a lot of cases. Um, some of them it's very easy. Like, just chip away a tiny bit and see if it's paint that comes off. Or, um like try and wash a little bit away or it's uh, a lot of it you can tell by um just looking very closely which you can't do in pictures you only be able to do in person uh look very closely and see um how it attaches and if it is just more of the surface than not um and certain things, of course, certain things are um, are forged more than others. Uh, trilobites, you, it's it's real. Trilobites with these crazy, like thin, beautiful spines and um, appendages and stuff that look like the most amazing, weird alien stuff. That's real. Those are real animals. But the ones you see for sale. 99.9999% of the time are not real. They are fraudulent versions of them. But the animals themselves are real. So, you can't just assume that it's like, oh, that animal looks too crazy. But you can assume like, oh, that animal looks too crazy for me to be finding right now for sale. Um, now, there's different kinds of... Uh, of forgeries or uh, of fakes, um, there are 
field repairs, which that's not really a fake. Some people might complain about that, but that's there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Fossils crumble, okay? People in the field or in the lab, whatever, or at home, um, when things fall apart, they glue them together. That's all there is to it. I mean, you break something, you glue it, period. Nothing wrong with that. If anybody thinks there's anything wrong with that, um, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I can't imagine anybody who would. Uh, there are uh, restorations which are kind of the same thing, um, but it's, it's a little bit... It's when there's small damage. It's it's like with the um, the hadrosaur rib bone I showed you. It was full bone. It snapped um, and uh, glued it together. But then there was a little bit of pieces missing from the snap, so I had to fill it in with putty. Um, and that would be restoration. Now that means it's not entirely. It's not 100% the fossil. There's a little bit of putty there filling it in. That might be a problem to some people. I think that would be ridiculous if somebody thinks that's a problem. If it's a small amount like that. It's another story if it, half of the thing is put together. Some people might not care. If, if somebody molded it into the perfect shape and they had like a perfect skull but like half was real, half was fake, I, that would look beautiful, I would think. I would much rather have that than just a display of half a real skull. I think it would be cool to have the whole skull, you get to see the whole skull, but you'd say like, there, like, yeah, this is fake, that's like, yeah, I mean, that's just me. Um, there are enhancements, which people will do a lot of times with paint, um, with um, things that are, like the, the K, uh, reptile I was talking about from uh, China where they get flattened a lot and you find them all over uh, in a lot of cases it's all of the bones but there are cases where like an arm bone is missing or there's some fingers missing or, or just something and they will paint paint some stuff on and just kind of add it um, and they might glue a little bit of matrix on somewhere, and enha uh, enhance the enhancements are generally small differences, but it is fake. It's adding to it or changing it. Um, composites, um, composites are. Um, oh, I. I I keep wanting to say the wrong thing here, I know. Composites are when you have, let's say you have a Spinosaurus arm, but, and it, it looks nice, same size, everything, but one claw came from another animal, and one of, like the ulna, came from another animal. It's still a, a totally legitimate, real, 100% authentic Spinosaurus arm, but the bones came from different individual animals. It's not one animal. That is something that a lot of people do not like. I'm a little iffy on that. I, I would be thrilled. I take that back. I'm not really iffy on that. I As long as it looks good and it works out well, I think I would be perfectly fine with that. And that that can be very, very hard to tell because you're looking at legitimate, real bones. Um, you probably would, you would need an expert to tell that. Um, or you would have to have something like uh, one of the bones was obviously a little bit too big or something. Or um, in some cases, some sites, um, things are fossilized certain colors. So you might have the wrong color of on one of the bones. So, um, 
another problem is uh, casts, which is what I was talking about with uh, China, where with that the K lizard and pterosaurs, um, I'm 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 have having a hard time explaining things right now because I'm trying to like I'm trying to explain it across from you forgetting that I'm going to be showing you pictures so <laughs> casts are casts people take uh, an, an original piece and they make a mold of it and then they make casts of it or sometimes not even an original piece sometimes they'll just make a sculpture of it and they'll cast from that Sometimes those are hard to tell. Sometimes they're easy to tell. Um, the whatever it is is almost always going to be painted on. If you're looking at it in like firsthand, if it's in front of you, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out because you can um, touch around the edges and you can look there closely and feel, and you can, at least in many cases, you can tell that the the matrix and the uh, the fossil itself are made from the same thing uh, when it's not a cast and it's really a fossil coming out of matrix there is a definite difference um, visibly you're gonna feel it by touch um, you can, it's, it's not all five senses but um, and then there's just outright fakes. And these things are models and things that people build. And they're usually god-awful. Oh my god, the ones from Morocco are laughable. And it just disgusts me that people are able to fall for these. Let alone that they do fall for these. Um, it doesn't disgust me that the person fell victim to it. It disgusts me that somebody was able to get away with it. Um, some people, uh, beginners, they don't know what things look like. And in some of the cases, like turtle skulls, there can be very few differences between, uh, in a very general sense, there can be very few differences between a, um, a complete fake and a real one. So some, a beginner, especially just a beginner who has a lot of money to throw around, um, could easily fall victim to that. And something that really, um, really sells it is, I'm sorry if my hands are not, it, what really sells it is with a lot of crocodile or mosasaur skulls, um, they just, completely from sand, or Matrix, they just build this god-awful looking thing that doesn't resemble a mosasaur or a crocodile skull. Um, th these people who work with mosasaur and crocodile skulls, you'd think they'd know how to, to fake it, but they don't. They just make these just, I mean, monstrosities. But then they stick uh, real mosasaur teeth in there, which even real mosasaurs don't have they're not put in the same way in the skull and they're not the same sh perfectly shaped like that so there's it it's it really is laughable it, it would be laughable if there weren't so many people falling for it um there's just so many examples i really wish i could go through and do a video and explain everything but i mean it would it would be over well over an hour uh, I don't know all the information about that. It's, it's above my knowledge. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm just familiar with the, uh, the basics. And, um, and I mean, I don't bother learning about like how to differentiate, differentiate like a real trilobite from an, uh, cause I don't plan on ever getting one of those, etc. So, uh, I just deal with the the visible aspects of certain things that I might ever come across and luckily it's so easy to tell but for beginners it's not necessarily and a beginner uh, might come across 
something and say, oh my God, that's so cool. And they might know what a Mosasaur head looks like. So they might think, oh, that's a Mosasaur skull. That's awesome. Even though it only has four teeth. Like, I mean, they might not think. And this person, it's really, it's sad if this person, like, let's say they saved up their money for a while and they just saw this and like, oh my God, I better get it so quick. It's going to sell so fast, which is another problem with things like that is like sites, auction sites and things is the, um, the feeling that you need to rush, which is a problem in the hobby, but a positive thing for forgers and people like that and people trying to get away with things is um, is people feeling the need to to hurry up and buy so um, I feel like I haven't given a lot of information or I haven't described things um, ideally um, but once I go ahead and go through this again and add these pictures um, with some explanations. I know I'm going to have to add some writing too to, to actually describe and point things out. Um, but I hope this will help people out. Um, any of you out there who are true hobbyists and have collections and um, things like that, I'm sure that this was an un unnecessary video for you. Um, and this could be an unnecessary video to 99.9999% of you, but if I helped one person, just one person avoid buying a fake, um, uh, that's success. I'm happy. I, I did my job. So, um, um, thank you for watching. Um, now, a little something else. Um, on a personal note, I, I know somebody, I have a friend who is having a very hard time uh, with a legal situation right now, and I would normally never do anything like this, uh, like pandering like this, but it is a personal friend of mine, and uh, they have a GoFundMe up, and it is for a very, very, very just cause. And I, I would very much appreciate it if you guys would at least go to the link and, um, and check it out and just read a story. Um, if you, whether, whether you donate or not, it would also be um, very much appreciated by me if you would spread the story too. If you would, uh, like on uh, Facebook if you would post it again uh, and and just kind of get it out there because um, I know some of the information that he had uh, specifically left out it's bad enough when you read it it's bad enough you can understand it's bad enough but it's I, and, and he hints to things being worse than you than you know and it is, and I just, I felt that I, uh, he's a great person. I know him, he's a really great person, and really deserves, really deserves the help. So, um, this isn't something I'm going to be doing, well, I'm not just going to, like, use this as a platform for this kind of thing, but, uh, it's very important to me, it's important to somebody that I love, and I'm very important to them so um, please take a look at it at the very least just read it um, if you if you can donate anything that would be uh, beyond appreciated um, and whether you can donate or not if you could uh, post it on Facebook spread it around a little bit that would be unbelievably appreciated too so thank you so much um, I feel very bad doing that. I feel kind of grimy, kind of throwing a personal agenda out there at you guys, but um, you'll see why. You'll, if you read it, you'll understand why I'm willing to 
despite kind of feeling weird about it. So, but thank you very much. Uh, please leave any likes, subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.